I have no idea what all the things he has said. I don't know yeah. what he has said. So you were you were for a long break or short break? Well, I think I can call it long. Yes, I've not been around. Uh, so you're back for a short while or a long while? Well, no, for a long while. Yes. It's amazing to have you and it's good to be part of those youths that are giving back to the community with the little they know. It's very important. Okay, so we talk um, the power. We are discussing the power by uh, Ronda Bai. You don't finish your audio, right? Not completely. You see, I like started again, but I think <laughs> the, the book is so... Large. I mean, you cannot feel, you have enough material to share even when you are not done with it yet. <laughs> I tended to finish it uh, the, the trip out of the weekend, but we went through things with that electricity. So, it was a way set back. At Metakota, one side of Metakota, after that, it was heavy rain. I'm not saying 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 I'm Long time that we haven't had that. Okay, okay. Yes, but after that rain, I mean, people died. So if it's only electricity, we can't oh, worry much. Yes, eventually, eventually, we can carry it all over the world. Don't finish it. Say it about confidence. Yeah. Okay, Osha was in China. It's very okay. It's very very okay. So uh, you want to take notes? I'm saying you drop smart now. No, I'm talking about drop smart. I'm talking about drop smart. We have dropped the penny. I just want to. Thank you. That bag is so content in there. I will remove the content and give you the bag back. All right. The title of the book is The Power. Yeah. By Rhonda Bain. Rhonda. Rhonda. I think Rhonda is a. R H O N T A. Yeah. Then buying is B Y R N E. Run by. It's my personal Bible. So go ahead, go ahead. I think okay. she can continue, right? Yes. So the first thing I noticed about the book was that it cut across the other books that I've read, that I've listened to, sorry. Uh, I discovered that there was an aspect of uh, a semantic care, an aspect of the past. <coughs> somebody that will step on your toes, <coughs> you should look at one particular thing about that person that you love and you love that person for that particular thing. And when you love that person, it comes back to you. So that's an aspect of emotional intelligence in the book. Then uh, an aspect of uh, the love language. Now, when, 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 when you are with people or with other relations, it is not all the time that they are happy or all the time that they feel happy. So you should always think of those happy moments that you have with them when they are not happy. And you love them for that and comes back to you. That's an aspect of uh, the love language. The book that about the love languages. Then, um, how many books have I read today? What's another book? What have I cut across? I think that those are the two. That I think that it cut across the path that I can that I could identify. So am I saying everything about another person?
maybe I should just continue from where you stop since you are talking about emotional intelligence. I think the major thing, or as I say, the core of the whole book itself is since the power of abstraction is love and the line that rings in my head at each chapter is what you give out is what comes back to you life is a boomerang life is a mirror and so on and so forth i mean everything they are saying in it surrounds that okay Mm, it, it says when you give out love, when you imagine love, you imagine positivity is what comes back to you. And it doesn't say it might come, it says it's a must. And since that's the law of attraction, it's like that. And I, when, when I listen to it and I get in line with the way I've been living according to the book, I realize it's, 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 it's true. It's, it's so true even though i think that uh it said it's come back to you for me it doesn't it mustn't come back the same way that you gave it it comes back to you somehow sometime that's just it and i'm happy because oh uh, first of all the first time i listened to this was um uh which book is that well i read it it was an article and they were saying that law of nature what you give comes back when you do one good it comes back to you in one way or the other so it is directly in line with that and i've been preaching this again and again because it's 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 so true but uh, a lot of people don't understand that and uh, recently i was saying the same thing in a workshop and somebody told me that <laughs> well i've done a lot of good things to people <laughs> and they're paying me back me back <laughs> and i have to defend myself and, and, anyway, continue this. So that I won't forget. Yes. Now, uh, uh, let me say that when when you do good to people, yes. do it with a lot of love, yes. not necessarily wanting something back in return. You should do it with so much love that it comes back to you. Not that you are doing it and waiting that they will give you something good. Because if you are doing it and waiting for something in return, it won't come back to you. Anyway, let me just add what I heard from Motani. <laughs> he told you the program. Uh, Impact Freeze 101 that his coach Lanjo told him that love is about giving period love is giving when you talk love you talk giving yeah. if you are giving love and you expect something back it's transaction <laughs> and I remember I told him on the program that transaction is such a big word <laughs> and it, it is I listened to the program again I followed it up that when you love and you expect something it's a, in return it's transaction Anyway, when that lady said uh, she's done a lot of good things and people have paid her back with bad, I, I, I thought that when you do law, you do it, you don't expect anything. And even if it doesn't come back from those people, it comes back somewhere. It mustn't be that same person, but you, you can even take a book. For me, I kind of calculate it sometimes, say, I like, okay, this is one positive thing, this one equals to this. And at the beginning I was saying things like that, but now I just do good. You don't have to count it again. Mm -hmm. You just do good just like that. You at the beginning I started it as it was an experiment and it works like magic. So it's about what you give it, what you are giving. And it creates a lot of positive vibes, a lot of positive relationship and it's amazing. Well, I think that can drop it coming. So I, I think I've listened to you people, I mean you've said a lot and it's, it's really enlightening, I must admit, that it's really enlightening. But if you're talking about emotional intelligence, being able to manage people in, because every society must meet people of different characters, mm -hmm. so you must be able to deal with people, not everybody will always be nice. Yeah. And the highest, the, the greatest challenge is how do I deal with people who are not nice, or people who do not treat me well, that, in fact I believe that personally that's my challenge. Because I can be the sweetest and I can be the, I can be like bitter leaf. <laughs> yeah, that is the honest truth. But now you must be that is lack of emotional intelligence where someone can actually um, can actually prompt you to do something or act in a way that you don't want to act. So you must be in control. That's why when you said all of that, it now came back to me that if the book says the power 
then what is the book really talking about like what is the essence and i think that the essence is giving you power the power over yourself and the power over people and the power that you have over people is the ability to love them even when they're unlovable mm-hmm. because if you love someone you 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 break every part of them and they become they become like a child so that is the power then i would like to say that i don't know if it's a coincidence but this is coming like me listening to you people talking about this it's like a very it's like it's actually fake because the whole of this week right right from sunday this has been reciting in my mind the pastor was preaching and then he said something that was not really the focal point of the of the message but he said something and he said it's in loving that we are being loved so the moment he said that my mind is reciting that it's in loving that we are being loved it's in giving that we are we, we receive it's in making it's in creating impact that we are impacted so it started reciting in my mind like i was just things were reciting in my mind like it is doing something for others that things are done for you and it's not just <coughs> come to me like somebody just said something like somebody just said a motivational speech i actually began to re-examine my life and ask myself that okay i think it's time for me to start doing things without thinking of what i'm receiving because it is in giving that i receive so this coming like i mean it's just blending in with what i've had in mind i even woke up this morning um and i actually scripted a message if you are because i've seen my facebook handle i hardly use my facebook it's given that encouraged me that she started using my facebook to do to publish some content and all of that i've never been using it so for the first time i wrote about this same thing we are talking about it is in giving that you receive it's in loving that you are loved so it's just amazing let me ask something and I should, as I said I'm not done with the book yet but so far the book lays emphasis on our thought what you think a lot so far is what I've listened to is more of what we even think than the actions per se yes it emphasizes a lot on what you think just this one thing I got from the book. Say talk more about the things you love and those things, and don't talk and talk less about the things you don't love. Yes, because we only want the things we love. We don't want what we don't love. So you do, you should constantly be thinking about what you love. In any situation, you have to be positive. Don't just go thinking about the worst. Sometimes from the explanation like sometimes when you think about negativity it brings negativity back to you but when you keep thinking about positive things that's when positive things come it works it works it works it yes. uh, is common knowledge but it's challenging it's common practice it's not common practice what i'm saying to is this the beautiful part about what you say is talk about the things you love to bring them to you so the challenge is that moment where you're tempted to talk about, where you're tempted to get angry. The question, if you can be able to catch yourself, to ask yourself, this anger that I'm trying to cultivate, am I forcing it? Am I thinking about what I love or what I don't love? Imagine you're in for a meeting, like you guys, we're supposed to have meeting at 2 o'clock. Now, at 2, you guys are not there. So, the question now is this. The first thing that will come to my mind is, okay, get mad at this point, I'm not there. But is that what I want? Is that what I want for myself? No. What I want is to see you people here. So I need to focus. On the focus my mind on you people being here. And if I focus my mind on you people being here, it might help bring you people here faster. And it might help relieve me of the stress. Because getting the angry that you are not here does not change anything. Yes. So it's about, as you say, it's about talking about what you know. In every situation that you face, it's just about um, being that able, it, it's not easy. It is not. Mean? Because it's not common. It's something we have been practicing for, long, for, for a long while. It's something we have been told since we were going. We are always good at just lashing out at situations. But we have to come to that point. I always say adults and those who can question the things that are around them and take a U-turn in them. It does not bring them peace. It's, it's about questioning those things. Taking your time now. I think uh, the power, I, I got the power in 2015, 2016. 2015, something like that. And the first time I started practicing what was happening, it was like it was like it was like magic. It was this is a magic shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because the first time I practiced the power was I was uh, in one uh, this thing. I think it's a general one, just a 
There was one woman that when that woman just saw me, that woman just got angry and she was one of the superintendents. She was just shouting at me. But when she was shouting at me, I remember that at that time I just got a hold of the power. I remember that if I focus on this shout and I focus on getting angry, I'll end up hurting myself and I might end up losing this work that I have here because she is one of the controllers. So what I could focus on was I started visualizing I and that woman becoming best friends in that particular moment while she was shouting. I did that for a couple of days. But I bet you at the end, before they, before that work ended, when that woman comes to the room that I was working, if you ask her, where is Tani? Where is Tani? We became very best. It was like, it was like magic. <laughs> she said it was like magic. Yeah. So because I always say, always start practicing from the little things so that you give you courage to practice the bigger mm-hmm. ones. So from that day, when that thing happened, that's why I told you that the power is like a me by me. Mm-hmm. The, a month or two months cannot pass without being so the it's not about religion, Let me just no. say something. The power at the same time, I mean, the first time I listened to the first 200 minutes, uh, at one time I had to stop. I mean, I was like, <laughs> this, this is somehow like a limit of the book. Okay, I thought like this is it's not. It seems like it's over positive and it's not realistic about life because yeah, I, have to, I mean, because it, it's so positive that. <laughs> Even though that I've been doing some of the positive things and it, it has been working, I would have done the whole of that book. Very true. Yes, See, but because I, I, I've, I've been like, so it, it, because I'm still waiting, maybe along the line is going to mention something yeah. of uh, being realistic because it, it doesn't seem to be realistic because it emphasizes on being positive so much so that you begin to wonder. That's why when you said it's very difficult. I would say it's even more difficult than you are saying it. I thought that this is the fan last week. Remember we went for lunch last week and I was really, I, I, I was thinking I was having a bad day. So I got up the next morning. I was still having a bad day. I started listening to the power. I remember I texted you and said the power in my day, right? I started listening to the book. And everything started changing in my mind. I was like, why am I even mad at this person? Why should I allow somebody to control my thoughts and my emotions? And I, I, I instead now changed my thoughts to remember some of the good moments that we have, some of the nice times that we had. And I was I was like, but I don't even see any reason why I'm angry with this person or why should I be angry with this person. And that was how everything changed. My day was brightened. Even the people that I met, everything was all good. But the previous day, it was like everything was bad. Even when I left you and I went to see another person to give him a parcel, he just made me so angry. I was angry. I went home. Everybody made me angry. I was like, what a day. That's how the power was. You know, so and then to just get up and say that having a bad day, today is really a bad day. You that conscious yeah. deliberate effort to say, okay, no, I have to change this. You keep having, you bad, keep bad, having a bad day. day. Till you don't decide to say, no, it is okay to stop here. Yes. See, and that, then that, this week, the, right? He says it in the book that that's the time that you feel like uh, the world is coming because mm-hmm. one thing, bad thing, it keeps happening. Yeah, it's keep that, that. that is it's nothing like bad or something because what you have been thinking, yeah. you keep bringing it, it brings another you know, negativity. You know, and the same like when you, you bring yeah. positivity, yeah. it happens one good thing, one good and thing, the whole thing and it's about the, positivity. The whole truth is that so, what you think matters a sometimes lot. Sometimes we say, so, we say that, something else and you think about something else. You can you can say something, but deep inside of you, you are thinking something else. You're talking and about it really, doesn't match. You're talking about power. You're talking about thoughts and feelings. Yes, yes and you mentioned it. When and you, when it happens like that, that it doesn't happen the way you true. might have visualized yeah. it to have happened. Okay, you let's see, your, that your, this your, thoughts, your, your thoughts are like your vehicle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What gets that vehicle to move is foil. Mm-hmm. Your feelings are the foil. Mm-hmm. Your feelings are the foil. So you might have those positive thoughts, but if your feelings are negative, you will not get. You will not get. Stuff. Yeah, because so you have to now look for which channel they are using to change this to reality. No, but it seems that right, you, cannot have, book, right? you cannot have positive thoughts and you are having a negative feeling. It's very possible. Yes, that's what it's saying. It's possible. It's, it's possible, Amber. Probably you you go back and then it, then we put it in another when, 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 right? when I was reading when I was when I was reading that, that book, when yeah. you think you, you are thinking you are feeling you are thinking positive right you are positive in the positive line with your thoughts. When, when I was reading that when I was reading that book right there there were some questions that I had inside of me. 
like the more I listen, the more my questions are being answered. Now, uh, she talked about um, the power and money. I tried this week. <laughs> yeah. No, let's finish on the, the feelings and thoughts. I, 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 okay, so, okay. I, 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 now, talking about the feelings and thoughts, right? Yes, yes. Uh, if your feelings and your thoughts must match, there are times that your feeling, your 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 thoughts are positive, but you're feeling negative. And what will come back to you is that negativity. So your feelings and your thoughts must match for it to happen the way it is supposed to happen. Go back and listen to the movie where she made mention of it. So the question is this. No, uh, the question is this. Your feelings and your thoughts must match. Mm-hmm. There are times you know that you, you have the positive thought but you're feeling reluctant. Yeah. You're feeling reluctant. That's true. So the question now is, which strategies do you use to, match to your get your feelings, your feelings to match with your thoughts? Mm-hmm. That's why she was suggesting when you're having that kind of feelings, go back to things you love so that it changes your feelings. Mm-hmm. Go back to things you love, go back to a good music you love, mm-hmm. go back to, to exercise, go back to something you know you love to do. By, by doing that thing, it changes your feelings, and now your feelings can now be in sync with your thoughts and it can bring you to reality. Because they, they, why we will we think positive? It takes long to happen. It's because our feelings are trying to synchronize with our thoughts. If you can instantly train yourself that your feelings and your thoughts are, 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 are in sync, I bet you things will be happening like magic. You'll think about an elephant, you'll appear in the Which is scary. <laughs> very I think what you're saying is very true. Because sometimes you know things, you know that I'm, I'm not supposed to be angry, but you're angry. You're angry. <laughs> You know, you know, but you just cannot help yourself. Yeah. I think that one of the ways, like exactly what you're saying, one of that's what I do. When I start feeling maybe sad about something that has not worked, I start remembering the other good things that are, are, are in my life that I was celebrating. So when I start thinking about, I start being, and my mood starts changing, my mind starts changing, my feelings start changing. So if you can, what makes us feel sad is when sometimes you make this comparison between this, your situation and that of another another person. But then, yes, and when you feel less, when you feel less, you start feeling like, okay, my situation is so bad. But the moment you start looking at the other good things in your life, for example, let me use myself as, as an example. You know, at some point I told myself like, okay, well, I have an opportunity to create impact. I think that is one of the, the biggest gifts that you can have. The fact that we are the radio and it doesn't have, matter how much you're being paid, it doesn't matter exactly the financial benefit at the point in time, but the fact that you can get up and do something resourceful is a real time blessing. You don't lack food, you don't lack clothes, you do not lack the businesses of life, and then you have the potential to grow and do better. So sometimes when you can start talking to yourself, even in a situation that looks negative, you begin to come out from that negativity, and you must leave that negativity to actually see positivity. So I really do agree. Yeah. So, um, it's not about, I always say that it's, it's, not, about, it's not about accepting, it's not about agreeing, it's about practice. Yes. I always, there are a lot of people that have read a lot of books, but the difference that will make someone who has read a hundred books and someone who has read one is the practice. Yes. Now let me yes. tell you, let me give my, I think let me give my testimony. Like on their life more than somebody who has I practice, a I practice, books. I practice, I practice uh, last week and I practice this week. Okay. Now concerning, last week I practice on my relation. I was having a, a misunderstanding with someone. So, when I started listening to the book, I just started <coughs> thinking of the good that he has done or all the good times that we had together and it changed everything. And even up to now, we we rarely had to have a misunderstanding because I tried to practice and it worked. Then this week I had so many things to do with money, but I didn't have money. I, I was thinking that I have that one. Now the power and money. She said that when you lack money and you're angry, money goes far away from Yes. When you lack money yeah, and, that, and you feel loved, you feel like you have the money that you need and even more, money comes to you. So now, uh, yesterday I got I was like, okay. The money that you need some money. It just, it just, it just, it just came to my mind like, I have to get this, I have to get this, I have to get that. I was like, wow, I don't really have the money that I require. Then I just said to myself that no, 
I have the money that I require and I will get those things that I want. And I was happy. I felt at peace with myself. Before the end of yesterday, I really had some money that I never expected I would have. It just came like, it was really surprising. But I had that money that I, I really want and I desire for the things I would have loved to do. And that is the power and money. Then she said another thing concerning the power and money. If you want to receive money, you have to give. And you have to give with love, not thinking of not thinking of having back that money. Yeah, no transaction. Yeah, now she's, she talk, she gave an example of herself. She was having a project. She needed so much money to finance that project, but she had eventually almost nothing. She went to her bank account, withdrew all the money that she had, and shared it to the people that she met that day. They were so excited. That was the love that they were giving back to her that she had given them, like the love that she received. And just the next day, she received more than enough that she needed for that project. So it was like magic. What I now what I learned is that if you need money, don't feel sad like why I not get money. Be happy. Love money. And it will come back to you. And then we should remove that perception that money is the root of all evil. Yeah. No, I've never seen it that way anyway. That, that's a fake fake. She said thing, yeah. yeah, she said that in the book that uh, we, we are being brought up to think that money is the root of all evil and we shouldn't desire to have a lot of money and all those kind of negative effects. If you have all those negative effects about money, money will That's definitely negative. stay away from you. But when you have positive, if positive thoughts about money, money will come to you. This this takes me to uh, one of the insults we had on Twitter the other day. The first thing that will get you to have money is to change your mind. Yes. And it's one of these facts that yes. we talked about. Mm-hmm. If you don't change your mind about money, Even if when it comes, you run. You run. That's that's it. Anyway, Flora said at the beginning that this book is a lot of very good things. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it brings me back to what that is that. What that is that we already start criticizing rich people over their weekend. Yeah. And this. Then how do you expect to be rich? You don't want that mindset of getting money. Okay. Then you're never going to be rich. The thing is, we always feel like money is the root of all evil. That is one of the things I handle with a lot of shows that I. Handling this, this societal stuff that we think society has accepted it is like this, mm-hmm. why it is not. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of people who have discovered that it is not, and they're just keeping quiet, they're just working against and they are working successfully. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's working for them. Because once you know money is the root of all you, you will first of all not ever have it. Yes. Once you think that everybody that is rich has, is, is, uh, 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 let's say, it's cunning, it's cunning, mm-hmm. it's, uh, and a bezeler, yes, yeah. it's, it's a scammer. Mm-hmm. Once you reach that way, one thing will be clear: you will start running away from people who are rich, and you will never learn the lessons that they have to teach you because they are always willing to. There are many people, many rich people who just wish that everybody could have money, mm-hmm. yeah. so that you can live the rest. Mm-hmm. Because the more people that have money, the more you can rest. If you are a single person in the society that is wealthy, you are poor. So there are many people who wish to. But the fact that we have that those 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 thoughts, and we have another thought that money is. Get money, you have to work too hard. No, it's working smart, not working hard. Yeah. But there are, there are days you have to work hard, mm-hmm. but most times you have to be oh, smart. smart yeah. You have to be very smart. We have to kill all of these this needs about money. Exactly. So you can make money. There's a lot. A yeah. lot. Anyway, my knowledge about money mostly is from Rich Dad Poor uh, Dad by Rebecca yeah. Yosansky, not necessarily uh, the bar. So, I- I- again, it's, it's not just about money, but it's about love. One thing, if you start condemning something and you are going for it, it's not going to work. It's just like people say, uh, uh, I and I was, uh, we were discussing the other day and we were discussing as people decide that marriage is not good, marriage is this, marriage is this, love, is, there's no true love and this, yet they tend to get married. I mean, sometimes it feels like wanting something and denying it. At the same time, yeah, that's it. so you, you, you can't begin to see things differently and you expect the same thing. Okay, it's just like at the tender age, we always feel that you have to associate with kind of people that are like you. I mean, you are scared to associate with the uh, rich guys and you are like, I'm, I'm a poor like guy, and you have to, yeah, you, you have to see inferiority that complex. If, if you want to get rich, you must be among the rich. Yes, you yes, must. that's one of the myths that I learned. They say that you have billionaires, you have five billionaires, you might just be the next billionaire. You like, will. The most, yes. the most, the most beautiful thing I, that takes me back to the power 
at what Amit said. Amit was saying that one of the reasons why we are always might be stressed or unhappy at the present is because we are focusing either on the past or in the future. The future. Yeah. Yeah. Whilst you decide by accepting this is how my present is, you start looking for ways to handle it and uh, the negative feelings disappear. It exactly. Once you sit and, and post the once you once you get to that point where you accept your situation for what it is, not comparing it with another person. Are you getting me? Not comparing it with another person. Not comparing it with what you know. Because the other challenge with, with books is when you read books so much, you will get to know a lot. Yes. And sometimes if you're facing a situation, you will be in trauma yeah. because of what you know and it's not what is happening. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I can't have that case of Yes. That case of Example that happened to me a week ago. I mean, I read a lot of things. I don't know if you know Arabat. No, I don't. Uh, Arabat and Joseberg at least. I, I, I read it. Arabat. Yes, Arabat. And Shafi uh, Shoeba. Yes, okay, yes, yes. That's. I mean, I read a lot of things, and uh, at one point, at one point, I just sat like that, and I was like, I mean, how am I? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm not achieved something by this, this. What have I been doing all this time? I started feeling depressed, and I was like. Then at one point I said they give it. <laughs> Every day care people not to compare themselves. This is exactly what we are doing. <laughs> but that is so, a bit so, about it. <laughs> then I started calculating. I mean, I started thinking of all what I've been through and what I've been able to overcome. And I've been here and I love the day. The depression just changed. I mean, I was proud of myself. I mean. I was like, okay, I'll tell people we don't have the same path. This is exactly what I'm doing. And and I started thinking what I've been able to go through. And at the end of the day, I was just happy. Now, well, when I listened to the past, she, she made mention of the fact, okay, saying that when you give out so much love, it comes back to you. No, I asked myself this question. She said that you give out so much love and it comes back to you. I used an example of being in a relationship with someone. And you give out so much love to that person, like you never be or you she never reciprocate uh, that same love back to you. And probably it ends up in a break in a break or in a broken relationship. So what happened to the so much love that you gave out? <laughs> no, that was the question I was asking myself. Okay. Uh, I think I think that's a very good answer to that question. Mm-hmm. Because that does not disqualify the fact that love doesn't come back to you. Mm-hmm. I would say I like to use myself as, a, as an example. As I like to use myself as the example, you understand? I've been in unfortunate relationships, but I had in my mind all through that this would never make me change from being a good person. That is the lo- that's you keeping that love. And when we say the love comes back to you, it must not come like we agree the other we all agree that love coming back to you must not come the way you think that you will come. Mm-hmm. Like I gave you something given and I know that you give it back to me. But love coming back to me is that the whole universe will work together to bring something to reward me for giving out love. So you would have another partner that will treat you with love. That is love coming back to you. Mm-hmm. But the moment someone succeeds to make you toxic, you'll be toxic to the extent that even when a good thing comes, you run away. And you might not even see. So I think that, that we strike the balance at that, that point. That, 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 <laughs> and, and, and let me add them as well. Matter of fact, disappear. Okay. <laughs> the question is this: When we, we, we in, in, in the, in, in, when it comes to love, do we actually know what it means? And are we showing love? Because sometimes. When we start when we start getting angry that we have given love and it's not coming back, we were not giving love for me. That's that's you were not giving love. That's, 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 that's exactly what I was driving. Yeah, you, you want that yes, something in yes, return. Yes. That is that is it. Yes. You want and to do we are we, we, we have that human tendency. Yes. And it's difficult to give without expecting something in return. Yes. 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 It, it's very challenging. But we should know, we should not confuse it with love. We should understand very well that. Because love is something that till we die we will still be struggling to understand what this love actually is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So in most cases we think we have given love and we have not received love. Meanwhile, we did not give love. Yes. We have received exactly what we gave. But we are not satisfied because we think that that's not what we that's not what we gave, but it's exactly what we gave that we received. So the question is, what is this love? 
how do you give love to receive the love? And takes us back to what Abit says. It's about everything, everything we lose comes back in another form. That's how it works. Sometimes we have given the love to, but we are expecting the love from the same channel to which we gave. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that is the, the, those, those are those are the challenges we face. We spend a lot on the same channel, and when it doesn't come back from the same channel, we feel like okay, we wasted that love. We don't be able to connect the dots and see that okay, it might be because of this this thing that I did here that this one happened. Because I remember there, there's one encounter, there's one encounter I had that I had the challenge with some documents, and I thought all hope was lost for those for those documents to go through. For me, it was over. It was over. I think it's around 2015. The one was over. When I thought of the power, the power told us that when you think it's over, forget about yourself and do something for someone else. So what happened that day is they told me it was over. The, 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 the pile of documents had gone. So there is no way my document will go. I was so devastated. I was so mad. But when the power came to my mind, what happened is when I turned around, I was at City Games. When I turned around, I saw a beggar now. I saw a beggar. One child just came to me and said he needed money. And the last one was on me was my transfer. I just gave it. And I walked on foot to the house, knowing that all hope was lost. <clears throat> but the way he came back to me was not somebody giving me back the money. The way he came back to me was a surprise. <clears throat> In the evening, the evening, I think it's the day after, when I knew that everything was lost. I said, okay, let me, I went to the park to see if I can send the documents to somebody here and to see how they can force it to happen or something like that. Imagine I reached the park on that day. I met the team that was carrying the documents. The document had not gone. <laughs> the day after, they told me that there's nothing I could do. Uh -huh. The document had not gone. But thank God to the power, I was able to connect. I was not giving that money to that child, yeah. that transport, to, to get something. I knew all hope was lost. I said, okay, let me just give. And I walked on foot to the house that day. But on going back the day after, imagine I met those guys there. It was a shock for me. As like I say, when sometimes when you're too positive, they look with a magician. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> and it doesn't fit. No, and then I think it takes us back to the, this is when positivity does not mean you don't look at reality. Yes. That's what they, you know, that's why I say when you talk about positivity, it's about a simple. When you're facing that situation, forget about what was and what is to come. Yes. Face what it is now. Face what it is now. What can I do now to make this situation better? That's the impossible. Mm -hmm. It's not about focusing on, okay, say, no, I want it to be, I want it to be this way in the future. Or oh, it was like this in the past. It's about focusing yes. on the now. I, I think, I think that when, when you said that, question. what came to my mind exactly was positivity is a higher level. Positivity is a higher level of reality. Yes, thank and you. It's a, it's a higher you. level because I am looking at the situation and I know that worry will not change anything and I know that sometimes it's a matter of time for a problem to solve itself. Yeah. So positivity yes. is a higher level of reality. Let, 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 let me say something. 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 Let me I always I read somewhere that uh, uh, it's better to be optimistic and be wrong than to be uh, pessimistic and be right. <laughs> back there, uh, I argued that thing with myself. I must like I always say I know just you realist. I always say that I always I want to look at things how they are. I want to be uh, realistic. But once I listen to <laughs> to. Uh, to, to the bar, I think when I was listening to it, I, I was thrilling. I was around all the time. I just took my my this thing and just take that view directly <laughs> because I, I thought of all, all what I've been going through. I was like, <laughs> this is stupid. Then I, I wrote it here that it it, 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 it it doesn't make sense. Sometimes you just have to be positive because just because positive will bring another positivity, and just because by being positive you feel better and you see what to do because worrying will not help you. Yes. Then I just, I just, it was like me now looking at 
that secondary school stage and looking at now then i was happy that okay means that i've grown i've learned something because back then i argue with myself i never <laughs> told anybody about it but i argue with myself saying no no more you should be at least since i'm being <laughs> strange i always i always say it it's just the same like being uh, a perfectionist i mean i was in secondary school i wasn't saying i'm a perfectionist i want to do this but this is one thing that has stopped me from doing a lot of this because when you I mean, sometimes I think I want to write a story, three, four pages, and I kind of read what I've written and from what I've been uh, uh, reading from other people, and like, like this shit. <laughs> and before I know it, I take it, yeah, just being direct. Be and the only day I never get started again. And you are not productive True. because you feel you want to, be, you cannot be perfect straight away. So just that's just it. So with the power. I mean, it just made me to do an analysis of my old thinking and my now thinking and see how much I've gone far. Yeah. Then going back to what uh, Flo was saying about giving love and not getting it back. I mean, sometimes uh, people say that I, I did this, I did this, or you bought something for a girl and when you go as a player, you want to go and take it back. <laughs> so so for, that, that's exactly what she did. It's, 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 it's not love because... Someone, yeah, be, because love is and being something why, yeah, and being conscious see, that someday the relationship killing, can end. Killing one another but, in the name of love. But then you, you are happy that you, I did it for love. It's, it's, it's what, since love is something that comes from within, I did it for love. So I'm okay yeah. with myself because I really did. I'm okay with my conscience that I did it out of a good heart. I did it for love. So whatever happens, good. In most of these relationships, we are we are just fooling ourselves. Yeah, right? that, yeah. That we are, we are just we are not, two two abrobas in the relationship. Thing when that we are you said really something not, about actually, you said something that really intrigues me about relationship. You said that most of the time we are not even showing giving love. We are just transacting. You said yes. something like that. Transaction. And I thought I thought you said that. that he said that in my head. if you oh, really gave yeah. love, you will not. <laughs> You, if you really you give love, you will not expect, you will not find yourself in that place yes. where you're saying yeah, that hey, after what like I did, after. Because let me tell you, let me tell you something personally, right? At a certain relationship where it, I can see that I was very genuine, and when I got when I got disappointed, the me feeling bad was really focused on how. How, like how can you be how can somebody miss such a good thing? Like how can <laughs> <laughs> like my focus was really not what somebody would be thinking in their mind. My focus was really like, are you for real? <laughs> like <I> was, <laughs> so it was a different kind of feeling and not just the entitlement feeling like oh I was expecting. No, it was just from a very pure place. And I'm trying to I'm trying to agree with what he said that really if you there are people who stay in toxic relationships and if you are still in a relationship that somehow meets up to your physical needs but that relationship has elements that do not allow you to really agree that this is a relationship that means that you are not even loving because you can only start loving when you love yourself so if you don't have the capacity to love yourself and to be to to be honest with yourself to say no this is if you cannot love yourself you do not really have the capacity to love that, that takes us back that's to the that's, we are that's not why it comes from we are not loving people we are transactional because you never give something to yourself if you cannot give something to yourself and expecting and expecting and it goes by again too yeah because love is the gift you give to yourself as you just said yeah you give to yourself imagine when you do something for love at the end of the day, you feel fulfilled. And yes, yes. And I never ever regretted for once anything I did because Good. it was from a pure Good. place. Like I could, like it, that, I don't know. Like I'm using that as an example because it's a testimony that I'm using for my yeah. own self yeah. that I do not regret it. Somebody can be like, but I just do not. It's just like, because it was so pure that how can I regret a good thing? So yeah. love is love is her love has its nature that if you are doing your own thing, don't be calling it love. Sincerely. Just I was transacting that one girl, that one girl. Yeah, 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 no, this is, this is it. This is it. I always tell myself, I'm not saying like as if I, I am a perfection. I'm, I'm perfect. No, I know very well that there are certain things we call love that are not. Even I, there are certain things I do and I call it love. But with there's so much knowledge I've got, I know that this is not love because I'm expectant. Yes. If I'm expectant, then it is not. Yes. So when it backfires, I never call as a love. And, uh, 
Selfish interest. Selfish interest. <laughs> and, and, and we are honest to ourselves that like, you are at peace. Yes, yeah, you are at peace. Are you changed? If you like, <laughs> don't be honest to everybody. Yeah. But don't fool be yourself. To yourself. <laughs> yeah, she don't even want to say no. If you say you will come up public, holla, holla, but you can't show you as a child. Definitely. I know, I often do that, and my, my kid brother called me one of those things. I told me that I was talking alone. <laughs> No, that is, that is one of the best things you can do. You do yeah, yourself, but you can be able to reprimand yourself. If you yeah. can correct yourself, then you, you, you can't do it. Yeah. Oh, but you can't shoot me and make like this. Yeah, there, there was a day. I'm like, where are you stupid guys? There was a day I was talking to myself. I was like reflecting on some of the things that I've um, um, done and some of the things that I said I would ever do. Like, I was reflecting on some of the things that I did so much. And I, I felt myself feeling bad. Like, do you really do those things? <laughs> See, you know? And I was like, Another thought just came to my mind that you were never created to be perfect. Yeah. Those mistakes are what make you the person that you are today. Yeah. They help you to become a better person. So why kill yourself for the mistakes of the past? Why kill the present? And you move on. At times we just want to kill ourselves for the mistakes that we make. Forgetting that those mistakes are the thing that make us the person, the people that we are today. Because exactly. it, it shapes you and makes you a better person. No, the one thing is clear as I keep saying, I say it all the time. There is just one person that was made not to make mistakes, and that's Papa God. <laughs> yes. That is the only person. That 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 is the person we you know give him maybe we need to make mistake. But so long as you be you be human being now, right, you will make that mistake. That, that's, that's so crazy. how do you minimize those mistakes? It's from learning. It's from learning from the past to minimize those mistakes. It is from it is from uh, from reading or listening to something else to help you minimize those mistakes because you cannot live long enough to make all the mistakes. So yeah. you have you to, to learn from those mistakes so that you can minimize your own mistake. Learning does not stop you from making those mistakes, mm-hmm. but it minimizes and it helps you spring back once you made that mistake. Mm-hmm. Because what she's saying is the truth. Sometimes you will see that thing of the, the, the things you said. I will never <laughs> ever see myself. Again. He didn't even tell you to He touched me with my mouth. I'm gonna check the things I told myself that I will never do this. I will never do this. I will never do this. But I realized if I look at the list, I don't do all that in it. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I don't do it all. I'm not proud of them. But I know that they got me here. Yeah. So I can only look back and learn the lessons from. And then I learned and then never say never. <laughs> never say never. Sincerely, I, I, I will never see somebody acting the way I say I will never act that way. No. Yeah. I'm not in that person's shoes. You don't know the circumstances. I, I don't know the circumstances. the circumstances. I don't know the environment that person grew up in. So, sometimes I say I'm heartless, but I say it's very okay. I, I will never say I will never act that yeah. way. And if you tell me that somebody has acted this way, I will never tell you that I, that is totally wrong. I will not. Sometimes people get angry at me and say I never support people. I say no. You that's the very funny thing they were You need to. <laughs> that's that's true. They were, the, my mother said the same thing. I, I said something. My mother said, I think the other day I judged him. Uh, uh, my mother is a strong Christian. I was shocked. And another day we we'll talk about it and we we'll all laughing. <laughs> my mother said, I think you that I mean, my mother is a church talk. Yeah. 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 Focus going back to the power. I'm not thinking now, now talking about this aspect that you're talking about, uh, uh, your mistakes that you made and you not hold yourself down because of this mistake. The fact is that you should not take life too seriously. <laughs> because when you take life too serious, life becomes very serious. Very serious, very true. Very true. And was like, no, but life, as he said, life is a mirror. That book now, oh it's a mirror. my god. When you take life too serious, life becomes very serious. Very serious. Color, red color. No, no, talk so. <laughs> I think it's very Compromise and compromise is the element of life that we must always have. That's just that's 
that's where you begin to compromise and kids understand because even when these girls do these girls in their care and well beaten in Boya, it's a very horrible act. But I've come to learn that any human being is capable of any kind of yes. act. If you yes. give it to evil, even when you use you to the point where you look at yourself and you don't believe that you did this. So every, every human being is capable of so sometimes they want to crucify a person, but every human being is capable of such an evil act. You know yes. that Emma, this this particular point that you just made is it's so sad that it's, it's, it's too much attached to the church. Yeah. Like they, yeah. they expect you to be just so perfect, perfect that when, when 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 something happens to you, it's just like you are the worst human being on earth. You know, they, they forget the fact that we are all humans and we are bound. It, to I think it was yesterday when that I said the church should preach things in there. Yeah. And see and what is happening, right? Mm -hmm. That should take Bible and put it in mm -hmm. context with what is happening. Mm -hmm. It should not stay abstract. Now, the thing that the church is facing is that uh, the church is training Christians to stay in the church. Yes, not to go in that's the world. exactly what I was. Most the churches, church right. yes. most, most churches are training Christians to remain in the church. They don't train them to that you have to go out and face people who are not Christians. Like for example, okay, let's say yeah. for example, like, you see you see a child that that grew up or the parents are from a Christian home and when he or she leaves from the university. 80% of those children never come back the same. They come back in, in, in another way. That's because probably their parents restricted them a lot from so many things that they never knew how the outside world actually looked like or feels like. I, for one, I had the opportunity to know how, how it is out there. Mm -hmm. And from those around me, I learned by observing yeah. what they did and how everything turned out. So why me, I was going to university, I already had my mind prepared that Unfortunately, if you do like this like and that. do like this and do like this, this is the outcome or this <laughs> is how it will happen. This, okay? <laughs> no, Unfortunately, if you are, what you are saying, <laughs> what, 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 what you are saying you, is you so know true. What because yeah. some of our parents now, they are so babble. I remember yeah. even my mother, I no, presented no, a whole program. Be careful, be very careful. Be very careful. <laughs> Because you want you be a parent, understand? Yeah. Yeah. Like, let, 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 me, let me say something. They are doing, that's, I want us to know that they are doing all of these things out yes, of love. Yes, of course, of course, yeah. it's out of love. Out of love of course, I just, I'm just cutting an example of what happened. Okay. I mean, with my, my mother, for example, mm -hmm. is something she will not open about, we open about certain things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I even presented a, a program when I was still welcoming an organization on my program to talk about sexuality and sexual reproductive system, all those kind of stuff and they were so <laughs> rude on the program they said everything was supposed to be and I remember when I went home <laughs> and my sister that came and told me that my mother said she's never listening to my program <laughs> <laughs> I laughed yeah, she's not listening to my program <laughs> 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 she I just got a new set. She never said it there. No, no, she you. cannot. <laughs> just tell my sister and my brother. That's, 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 that's very true. That, that, that's what happens. Some parents will not talk to you directly. Yes. yes. They will talk. They like, 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 I'm, I'm that kind of person that when I do terrible things, oh, they kind of nonsense that I do. My dad will not tell me, you will tell my own man, my own man. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> see, 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 if you hear to your own man, talk. <laughs> oh my god. So but but, but I, I just understood her because it didn't make me sad. I laughed the thing or the. <laughs> if I when I'm alone, I still remember, I still laugh. She was very surprised that my, my yeah. boy, my boy. So, <laughs> take it, take it us, take it us back to the power. For me, the highest lesson I learned from the power is that one. Talk about the things you love to bring the things you love to me. Mm -hmm. That is one thing I learned that, that vibrates with me every day. If you look at the society, those who talk about money all the time are those who get the money. Those who are healthy, they talk about health all the time, yeah. they talk about sickness. Mm -hmm. Those who are happy, they talk about happy things all the time and that's why they are happy. It does not mean that they don't have sad situations, but they focus on what? Those happy moments as you talked about. Those those happy moments. And the one other thing about the power that I'm still trying to see how I can structure a poem to make it happen is the fact that once you give hate to anything, you're pushing it away from you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
That's exactly how it is. Because, like, <clears throat> imagine you walking on the road and a beautiful car passes. You like the car, but you start accepting that car, that that person that has that car is a scammer, is a, is a, is a ritualist, is a, is a, is a ritualist. Once you start putting that, then you never get that car. Can you be that conscious to catch yourself when you are being judgmental and just give the love for that black car, that black yeah. car? Yeah. It's a practice, it's common saying, but it's not common practice. But it's something you can practice, something I've been practicing. Yeah. Because once you see that car, then you want to see some perfect come inside. The highest way you come here, head first now. That's what I Oh, that's all inheritance. They cannot be not walking within a walker. You know, everybody is going to walk within a walker. Right. Yeah, I did the cost of our project. So, so the challenge is as I said.